This meeting is being recorded. Hey, what's good with the YouTube, man? This is your boy Rojo. This is the Rojo Room. As you can see, I got my boy Big Gunner, Gunner's Collective, Gunner's Profiles in the building. And today, as you can tell by the title in the thumbnail, we're going to talk about some rumors that have been floating around here and there about the reintegration of active gang members, active geographicals, active groups, whatever you want to call it, which includes the Fresno Bulldogs. Now, a lot of people have the misconception that the Bulldogs are like SNY, they're being protected. That's totally unsubstantiated. What the Bulldogs have going on is basically a general population form of administrative segregation. They're being segregated because everybody in CDC from the top guy, the governor, down to the janitor knows if the Bulldogs and the Northerners are placed in the same place, there will be Chingasos. Mad amounts of Chingasos. And that might as well, that may as well apply to the Serenios also. We don't know 100%. We don't know where they stand right now. Those aren't people we know their politics too much. But I would guess that probably it's on site with them as well. CDC knows this. So they keep them in their own yards. They are GP yards. Everybody's active. The Bulldogs, the white boys, the blacks, the others. They're not 50-50s. They're not S&Y type of group. The Bulldogs are nothing like the Northern Riders. They're nothing like any Deuce Fibers. They're an active prison gang. Absolutely. It's been a rumor that apparently a busload of Bulldogs went to a certain institution and refused to get on the bus, off the bus to go to the yard because it was a northern yard. Me and Gunnar are here to tell you that is absolutely false. Now, will there be cases where certain people won't get off a bus because they're in hostile territory? Yes. That applies to every group. Some people will be like, no, 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 I'm not going out there. That doesn't mean that that's a bulldog thing. That doesn't mean it's a Sereno, Norteño, Samoan. It doesn't matter. There's going to be certain people who don't want those problems, and they'll just refuse. The bulldogs are probably one of the most likely, like, most least likely groups that would do that. They're going to go. And we have a little bit of people we talk to, and got to confirm more of this, that they haven't even started moving any of these guys yet. So what did you hear, Gun? So I tapped in, man, and, and referred to my video, too, also on Gunner's Profiles, where I, I talked about it a little bit. Um, and me and Rojo got to talking. First of all, first and foremost, before I say anything, I'm in another planet right now because I'm all around. You never know where I'm at. Um, but I'm on another planet with this. But I tapped in. I tapped in with some of the battles from the four yards. And, um, and they told me legitimately that nobody, when it concerns the Bulldogs as a group, have been moved yet the cdc california department of corrections did institute a memorandum a memo that has been floating around that i'm sure everybody has seen it's been floating around on youtube as well saying that there will be some reintegration going on that ultimately their concept and their idealisms and their plan is to integrate all said groups on these yards these new integrated yards is what they're calling them the bulldogs are probably going to be the last ones they start with the reason being is they know that's where the most drama and the most uh, tenacious, uh, vicious um, conflict is going to come from. Okay, North and South has been programming together on yards uh, due to the end of hostilities or even prior to that. You know, I programmed with South Siders. It was always a respecting, um, traditionally, that's how it's been. Um, so that's done. That's been implemented years ago, decades ago. Uh, they're going to rock like that. Now with the end of hostilities, of course, things have changed. People are more on the same boat as far as um, getting along. A lot of things have been changing in the last few weeks, of course. Um, everyone's getting ready. Every group segment will be ready at all times. Now, when it comes to the Bulldogs, there's no line of communications. They're incommunicado when it comes to Norteños and Southsiders, beings that they don't communicate in the first place with each other. Um, so no one knows where they're coming from. But I, myself, Rojo, several other individuals on YouTube are not incommunicado when it comes to the Bulldogs. And we do reach out extensively to Bulldogs that are incarcerated, as well as ones that are on the streets. And they got a lot of love. And we show a lot of respect and love back. Now, when I say that I tapped in with someone on the foyer, yes, indubitably, I did. And he told me that that is totally false. There has been no bus loads that have pulled up to anywhere that have refused to get off the, uh, the bus. Now, let me tell you two things. One, just like Brojo said, that is the last group on earth that is going to refuse to make a movement. 
of groups of North Daniel Southsiders Bulldogs will show up and show out. They will make themselves present on every line movement. It is mandatory when it comes to the gang underworld. It is mandatory when you're from a group organization. All line movements are mandatory. All bus rides are mandatory. You go where you go. That's it, right? That's it. Um, two, individually, yes, people will refuse things. Hey, I ain't going through there. I ain't going to there. And they'll put them in segregation. Of course, they'll flip. They'll go on to S&Y yards and so on and so forth. And that's that. Eventually, the same people they flipped on, nowadays, they're going to have to see because obviously these guys are going to come soon. So is this integration thing happening? Absolutely, it's going to happen. The memorandum's out there. But by, at no time had the Bulldogs um, moved yet. They're still exactly where they were three days, four days, five days ago. They're still right there sitting in their fucking cells, chilling, drinking pruno and eating sopas. So they haven't went anywhere. Um, and I asked the guy, I said, so when, uh, you guys read this memo, right? And he goes, oh, yeah, we're, you know, we, we've read it. I said, so what's, what are the Bulldogs uh, uh, thinking? What's your guys' thinking on this? Because I wanted to delve into the background, not necessarily that he said, she said, actual factual from the horse's mouth or from a bulldog's mouth at this time. And he says, oh, we're ready. We're, we stay ready. Right. And I know every group says, oh, you don't have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But he says, no, we are ready. When they tell us that we have to go, we will roll our mattresses and we will go. But when I say go, we will go. Right. Um, and I said, so what's what's you guys take? If you guys get to a yard, there's 10 of you. There's 40 North Daniels or 40 Southsiders. Um, what time is it? He said, what time has it been since the day that we did the red wave and broke off? It's go time. He goes, we're going to get off, bro. And he goes, and we and, and we don't care about the numbers. Um, we're always up short. We know that. Um, and we move as such. Um, so basically what I took from the conversation was they're ready. They're ready. I think every group is ready. I think the North Daniels absolutely are ready. Being a North Daniel for a long time, I already know, man, the safety and security is the top priority there. They are ready. Uh, Southsiders, I don't know too much of their politics, but they have never not been ready. You know, they always make them yard movements. They always, they will come out of their cell. When that door cracks, Santana, are you coming out? Hey, life's a risk, eh? Right? He's going to come out. Everybody's going to come out. So when I seen this, um, uh, this rumor that's going on, you know, about the Bulldogs, um, not bus pulling up and them all refusing to get off the bus, that's further from the truth as you can get. That has not happened. I'm not going to take away from anyone who put that information out there because maybe, um, Maybe they got fed some wrong information. Maybe they felt some type of way. Maybe they're pushing a certain agenda. And I respect them for what they're doing on YouTube. But at the same time, I'm here to give facts. Rojo's here to give facts right here on the Rojo Room. And I will say the Bulldogs have not left their yards yet. And when they do leave their yards, they are going to show up and present themselves on whatever yards they're placed on. That's a fact, man. Hey, just a little bit more. Not only will this apply to Bulldogs, this is supposed to apply to everybody on 50-50s. This is supposed no. to apply to everybody who does not possess a true SNY chrono. So this is going to be northerners that are on 50-50s are supposed to try to be reintegrated because they're not full SNY. They're still considered GP. They're just admitted, administratively segregated. Same with the southerners that are on these 50-50s. The same with the new flowers that are on these 50 50s you know what i mean and they're not even necessarily 50 50s they're being segregated by the administration they're on gprs let's not mistake that for being pc refusing to come out refusing to go anywhere you can't go you can't just make up somewhere you could go you're going to get a ticket and that's where you're either going to go or you will refuse then you'll have to get a real true s and y chrono and However you go about that, tell them they're going to get me, <laughs> whatever, however that, however you go about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, heart attack. It, so so that. right here, right now, unfortunately, it's not going to apply to the weirdos. They're not going to have to go out and face the music for the weird stuff they do. Bulldogs, 50-50 Northerners, 50-50 Southerners, 50-50 Woods, 50-50 Brothers, all those yeah. people that are still considered GP that do not have an SNY chrono are going to be on that bus eventually. Will some of them lock it up? Without a doubt. Without oh, yeah, a doubt. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll barricade themselves in their cell and cry and poop. But Put baby oil, pull sprinklers, and all kinds they're, of shit. They're going to they're gonna do their thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, either they're going to go or they're not. And you know who's going to go? Are the Bulldogs for sure. Because That's 100%. The other groups, and the new when they go 50-50, they know they're done within their own group. 
No. The Bulldogs, they're not 50-50. They're GP inmates that are only there because the administration says this is where you could go. You could go to this prison, that prison, and that prison. That's it. That's all you could go to. You can't make them change their mind. You can't say nothing. Hey, you're already on a GP yard. There just doesn't happen to be any of your historical opposition on these yards. So this stuff hasn't started happening yet. And like Gunner said, the last group they're probably going to do is the Bulldogs. They're going to see how everything else goes, give it a chance to play out because the administration knows, the Northerners know, the Southerners know, the Bulldogs know. When they go somewhere, if it's supposed to get busy, it's supposed to get busy. I'll tell you another little rumor we hear or that I hear that I can't say is true or not, that there's a certain – one of the certain groups is willing – to let them come to the yard and rethink what they have going on. If they want to be with the program or not with the program, we both, we all know how that's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? But stranger things have happened, you know, yeah. them leaving in the first place was kind of strange. So yeah. it's a different time, man. We don't know how this is going to play out, but one thing we do know how it's going to play out, they're going to get off that bus. You know, if there's a dozen of them, maybe one or two will cower up, but that's not a reflection of the Bulldogs. That's a reflection of them, particular individuals, choosing to not want that action. Exactly. They don't want that smoke. Yeah, as to look at it as a – I mean, if you looked at a cowardice act and had that reflect on the whole group, well, then I guess every one of these groups would not be in good standings, Right. It doesn't, that's not the way the game is played. The game is played on an individual basis in a group movement. So if you're the character of yourself, you choose to fold, you choose to not want to be involved in the reindeer games, you choose that that's not the best move for you, you're entitled to do whatever you should do. Now, you remember, there's repercussions for every action, but does that reflect bad on that group? Nah, you know, of course, the opposition's always going to smirk. Uh, they're always going to smile. They're always going to clown. They're always going to, but that's just a hater move. That's just, that's common. That goes on. People are going to always say something about the opposition because everyone feels that they're from that one superior group. OK, everybody feels that I felt that at one point. Rojo has felt that we've all felt that um, when it's all said and done, the only one running anything is the administration, the California Department of Corrections, because ultimately they have the guns and the keys and they're going to put you wherever they put you. Um, how you show up and perform to the best of your capabilities is totally up to you. Everybody has the opportunity to show up and everybody has the opportunity to cower. That's totally up to you. Um, Bulldogs from my, from my history, from knowing them, they tend to show up. Okay. And just like Roll said, they're not a 50 50 group, meaning a lot of these other groups. Yeah. There's going to be several individuals that lock it up. There's going to be several individuals that refuse to get off that bus. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter if you refuse to get off the bus, they're going to throw you off that bus. You will get off the bus. Right. Um, and it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, happens. Whether they place you straight to administrative state of uh, what is it, administrative a straight of segregation, or whether you get hit in R and R and D, whatever you call it, um, we'll see what happens. But as far as the Bulldogs as a group, they're prepared. They're fully prepared, just like I know the North and the South are fully prepared, and all these other groups. You know what's gonna happen here is 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 gonna happen. Okay, it's gonna happen. Homes, you can't fight it, right? What trips me out, Rowan? I want to talk to you about is what's What's going to go on with groups like the, the Africanos who don't really push too hard of a line? You know, um, are they just going to let these guys come? What do you think? As, now, we know the white boys, they're different. Oh, yeah, the wind's blowing. They're very different. They will push a hard line. Um, their politics are, are, are slowly but surely uh, coming up to par with the North and South politics. You know, um, they'll make moves. So it's going to be total chaos. It's going to be total chaos. And the way I see it, and look at this quietly as it's kept without bullshitting anybody, it's becoming an active versus non-active thing, period. It's not even about different groups anymore, about Bulldogs, North, South. Um, it's ultimately becoming GP versus people that are not GP. That's it. That's in a nutshell. That's a fact. That's what it is. That's what is. That's the culmination of what's coming. Um, now everyone being placed on these yards, what would I do? If I was on a yard, if I was active, they brought a degenerate northerner or someone that got removed for maybe something, um, you know, that maybe we could overlook. Um, there might be a recent reinstitution of due process. You know, you never know. You need all the soldados you can get at time of guerra when it's wartime, because a lot of these non-actives that do show up, 
Well, whoa, they just went over that first hur hurdle. The ones that are S and Y, don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on another man. Every man is capable um, uh, of getting off. It doesn't matter what yard they come from. It's still prison. A yard is a yard. Okay. If they decided to function on that yard amongst uh, degenerates and 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 uh, chomos or whatever the case may be, um, their program was their program. That's on them. That doesn't mean they can't squeeze or they can't get off. So them coming overcoming that first hurdle and showing up on these yards tells you something right there that they have the heart, right? So you have to be prepared. And I'm not speaking on behalf of actives or non-actives. I'm just saying um, nobody knows. But as far as the Bulldogs not showing up to perform to the best of their abilities, that's totally false. And secondly, anyone that has ever, ever known the history or had history with Bulldogs know that that, that is never going to be the case. These bottles show up, bro. They're the one group I can say that have went against the grain. I talked about it in my, my spill when I said the um when this was instituted, the end of hostilities, they're the one group that shied away. Why? Because they didn't want to be involved in signing anything or any type of compliances with rules and regulations that were set forth that these groups have decided on. They went against the grain as they always have. So what did they do? They took it on their plate saying we're against everybody. Anybody can get it. So for them now not to show up, well, that's frivolous. They took this upon their plate actively and willingly. So they're willingly going to go on these yards. It's a fact, man. Yeah. It's a fact. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, there'll be, you know, people in the comments or people, you know, saying things about certain people like, oh, fuck them, them, them S and Y bitches or 50 50, whatever the case might be. Not a single one of them will run up on one of them yards and be like, man, fuck you, S and Y. I mean, come on, bro. I mean, it's, it's easy to talk. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them dudes are in there for multiple murders. A lot of them dudes. Man, they'll peel your fucking wig all the way to the white meat, bro. You know what I mean? And that's just that's just how it is. You know, so talk is cheap. These are still gangsters. They're still with the business. They just want to do it independently without somebody telling them what to do. That's the only difference. Are there some pieces of shit over there? Absolutely. Undoubtedly. There are some massive mm -hmm. hunks of straight shit on them yards. Mm -hmm. But that's not the majority nowadays. Back in the days, that's what it was. They hit out all those weirdos. They're not like that no more. No. You know what I mean? No. A lot of them are going to be kids who are just scared that didn't want to function. They're scared of burpees. They, The homies in the neighborhood beat them up. No matter what neighborhood it was, they're like, fuck these dudes. No. But there's some dudes over there that are with the business. And that's the same thing on a GP yard. There's going to be dudes that are with it and dudes that aren't. They just no. haven't done anything foul to get removed or... You know what I mean? Fine, There's yeah. weak ass people on these GP yards, just like there is anywhere else. Prison is prison, you know. So all that talk that, and stuff. Yeah. Trip out on this, Rojo. This is this is gonna blow some mentalities right here, right? Everybody out there, look within yourself right now. If you're from a body or a hood, you represent something, you're active, you're in good standings, whatever the case may be. And you have homeboys that you know you've done dirt with, you put in work with, you know they're about their business. And right now they're posted up on an SNYR because something happened in their career, that demon there. Do you think that they won't get off? Ask yourself that. This is your own homeboy from your body, man, that's had your back several times. Do you, in your mind, think he's a sucker? Come on now. You know better than that, man. There's a lot of people in here right now saying, this motherfucker's right. Straight up. Exactly, man. So, hey, you got to think before you say things. And at the same time, if you're pushing an agenda and you're a true believer in your cause and you believe um, indubitab indubitably that that other group, man, ain't with it, well, you know what? You will have your chance to test them waters and you will find out. You know what I mean? Don't jump in the ocean if you're not scared to get bit by sharks because they're in there. You know, maybe you wiggle, maybe you don't. That's the true. That's the true definition of a man is if you're willing to jump in that ocean. This is your boy Rojo. This is the Rojo Room. That's my boy Big Gunner, Gunner's Collective, Gunner's Profiles. Hope you enjoyed this one. Enjoy your Monday, and we are out of here.